Repositories. Today we're going to talk about repositories. In this module, we'll discuss the various types and how they're utilized. So repositories in Artifactory act very simply. We have local repositories, remote repositories, virtual repositories, and federated. Local repositories are where you store your builds, the binaries you use, the binaries you create, and things you just want to generally store in Artifactory, uh, whether you're using one of our 32 package types, including our generic, for things like Maven build, Docker containers, maybe Helm charts, NPM builds, and also generic objects like PDFs and maybe JPEGs. This is a place where you just store and organize. In addition to that, you can have multiple local repositories to emulate your software development lifecycle. You can have dev and QA, production, and be able to go ahead and if you publish a build and put it into a local repository in Artifactory, it has all the context information around that build itself and allows you to use our promotion API to promote through the actual build cycle in the local repositories. Now, as you know, 85 to 90 percent of the software you create is third party resources, those third party libraries, both direct and indirect uh, transitive dependencies. And those are proxied from the client, whether it's a developer or it's a CI tooling through a remote repository. The remote repository acts as a lazy cache for those and allows your developers to proxy those requests, store the both direct and indirect transitive dependencies for a lot of things like reproducible builds. Or if you have a thousand developers and say a developer brings down a library and all the transitive dependencies around this, 999 other developers can use the same thing. It allows a layer of consistency and usage of those third party transitive dependencies. Now, you don't want your developers to have a whole series of repositories to reference, so we can actually encapsulate those into a virtual repository. A virtual repository is a combination of local and remote. Inside the UI of our product, you can actually go ahead and actually change the order of resolution, but it can also be another virtual repository in there where you might have multiple, say, third-party remotes or even things like cross-team dependency sharing where maybe one team creates uh, libraries or components for another team. So it's very adept to the way you can actually use your organization and organize the way things are used, the stuff being used, and the stuff being produced more readily. Now, if you're working in an environment that you have multiple locations, uh, either hybrid or we talked about in earlier sessions, you know, self-hosted, managed solution by us, combination of, of your own cloud and us, whatever the permutation is, if you have multiple instantiations of Artifactory in a global stature, one of the easiest ways to make sure that those, those depend, the, the actual local repositories can be replicated between multiple locations, and we'll go in-depth into it when we talk about replication, is using a federated repository. A federated repository takes a local repository. You can go in and select the other locations built on a circle of trust. And when you create that circle of trust and you create it, it'll actually create those repositories of the same type and all those locations with the same name and allow bi-directional replication between them, including all the metadata and all the information that revolves around that repository itself. So these are our repositories, local, remote, virtual, and federated.